Hey then, knowers, welcome back to our channel. This feeling is too familiar for many of us. After going to bed early and sleeping for no less than 8 hours, you still haven't had enough sleep and you feel tired. We often blame it on stress and the endless daily rush, but sometimes the causes of morning fatigue are hidden elsewhere. Many health-conscious people have a strong awareness and commitment to the relationships between nutrition, exercise, and health. But what we often overlook is sleep. Without proper sleep, all those efforts may be getting thwarted and you may not even know it. Sleep is connected to your mood, hunger, athletic performance, everything. Our lives are in accordance with the circadian rhythm also known as the biological clock, which is a regular cycle of alternating sleepiness and alertness. Going to bed at a different time every night will break the cycle. This can also result in drowsiness and fatigue. Here, we'll tell you 17 sleeping mistakes, which if avoided, will lead to a much fresher and brighter start to the day. And by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel, you'll definitely be brightening our day. Number 17. Too much light. Your body prefers a dark environment to trigger the proper release of melatonin, a hormone that helps set the stage for your overnight sleep cycles, where many additional hormone shifts occur. If your eyes catch any light, your body suppresses the production of the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin, which can lead to sleeping disorders. This effect applies to both natural and artificial lights such as a glowing TV button, a bright side table lamp, or your cell phone's light signal. So it's better to completely turn off all electronics in your bedroom. Fun fact, sleep associative disorders are a leading cause of weight in women. So if you want to shed off those pounds, try switching off the light. Number 16. You're off schedule. Whether you're conscious of it or not, your sleep quality benefits from a regular schedule. Even just a one-hour night change can have a negative impact on health. The moral to this bedtime story is supported by a recent study. Going to bed and waking up at the same time, yes, even on the weekends, is a key step to better sleep. Number 15. You don't unplug. We're all guilty of being hunched over the blue light of a smartphone or other device when you know you should just go to sleep. According to a report from Harvard Medical School, the blue light from your phones may be even more disruptive to melatonin and your sleep cycles than that light shining in from the bathroom or hallway. Moreover, the inability to stay away from checking emails and Instagram keeps your mind racing, which also makes it harder to fall asleep. Red light is the least disrupting, which is why you see it on so many clocks. To really benefit, shut off the screens at least 60 minutes before you call it a night. So guys, have you been really making this mistake? Wait till you see the number one mistake you should definitely be avoiding. Number 14. You try to bank sleep. If you think you can burn the midnight oil all week and catch up on the weekend, think again. A study determined that getting sporadic bursts of sleep from night to night amplified problems with the metabolism of participants. Number 13. You underestimate the power of caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant. It increases heart rate and affects blood flow. A shot of caffeine will give you a buzz no matter who you are. Here is a fun fact. Caffeine half-life can be as much as 9 hours, meaning at least half of the caffeine you sipped at breakfast is still with you till the evening. It won't only keep you awake longer than you would like, it can also hamper your ability to achieve a deep, restorative sleep. Don't think you're immune. If you are the type of person that can drink an espresso at 10 p.m. and fall asleep an hour later, the issue is the quality and type of sleep is getting cheated. Number 12. You overestimate the power of alcohol. If you believe a nightcap will help you fall asleep to La La Land, you are confusing sedation for sleep. 
even if the loose, floaty feeling of being intoxicated has passed before bedtime, the sleep-interrupting effects of alcohol will still be in your system. Number 11. You sleep less than 7 hours a night. According to an international sleep expert, Matthew Walker of the Center of the Human Sleep Science at the University of California, Berkeley, less than 7 to 9 hours of sleep at night is where the brain and the body functions begin to be negatively affected. And this is for adults, not for kids or babies who we believe should sleep longer than adults for better cognitive and intellectual functioning. Number 10. You take melatonin. Supplemental melatonin is a common remedy that many folks turn to when seeking alternatives to prescription and OTC sleep aids to help them fall asleep. As it turns out, that's not where melatonin can be helpful. Melatonin is best suited to potentially help you adjust to new sleep schedules when changing time zones, so pack up that supplement for jet lag only. Number 9. You need to calm down. Finding remedies to decompress before bedtime such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, aromatherapy, salt lamps, or even cuddling up with a good crossword puzzle can help you get into a more calm state of mind. This kind of structured routine can be helpful to set you up for sleep success. Number 8. You wake up worried. Some folks, rather than having trouble falling asleep, have more issues waking up multiple times overnight, which can certainly disrupt essential nighttime processes. These sleep-deprived peeps also report waking to worries and anxieties about their day. To help quell this angst, leave a notepad by the bed to help jot down ideas and thoughts. Trying to clear off that mental to-do list may help you get back to sleep faster. Number 7. Eating yourself to sleep Hunger hormones are closely tied to your sleep. The hormone ghrelin triggers hunger, while its formidable opponent leptin suppresses it. When you are sleep-deprived, ghrelin spikes and leptin takes a dive, making you downright hungry. Another good reason to adhere to your sleep schedule or else you'll be counting those calories this very minute. Food with a high glycemic index, which increases the level of cortisol in your body adversely, affects sleep. The effect lasts for 5 hours, so you'd be better off giving up pizza, cakes, and potatoes 5 hours before bed and replacing them with lighter foods such as yogurt or low-fat meat. Number 6. Hitting the snooze button Five more minutes snatched from your alarm clock won't do any good. Dozing off again, you might fall into the face of deep sleep and feel even more tired waking up. It's best to set your alarm for when you absolutely need to get up and to train your willpower. Number 5. Catching up on weekend sleep if you sleep 5-6 to six hours on weekdays, while the time spent in bed on weekends is twice that, you again break your body's biological rhythm. In addition to sleeping disorders, you are at an increased risk of developing obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Try not to vary your wake-up time by more than an hour. Number 4. Skipping Breakfast Breakfast helps to start the biological clock. It counts down the time until the next rest. If too much time passes between waking and eating, your body increases the level of the stress hormone cortisol which hampers the sleep cycle. So a perfect start of the day can only mean a perfect end to it. Number 3. Messy Bedroom Researchers say that an overstuffed bedroom is a reminder of the tasks you didn't finish during the day. In contrast, a tidy room and a bed made with fresh fragrant linen stimulate you to go to sleep earlier. In order to get a good sleep, tidy your bedroom regularly and prevent clutter. Number 2. Hot Bath Before Bed A warm soak will help you relax and fall asleep alright, but and this is a big misconception, not immediately before heading off to bed. 
The reason is that a drop in body temperature is one of the signals your body sends your way to tell it's time to hit the pillow. And a hot shower or bath disrupts this signal. In order to prevent that, take them at least one and a half or two hours before sleep time. And the last one is our favorite, guys, because it tricks you. It makes you feel like you're getting the job done, whereas you're really not. Number one, hitting the bed when you aren't sleepy. Since your brain may have associated other activities such as watching movies or your pending drama series with some bedside munchies that are not linked to sleeping no matter how long you stare at the clock or lie in bed for, your mind will continue to race to keep you anxious, stressed, and up. In such a situation, it is better to get out of the bed and relax until you are sleepy enough to go back to bed. So guys, are you suffering from sleep associative disorders too? What keeps you up at night? Which of these mistakes do you guys tend to make? Have you tried overcoming them and how? We'd love to know everything you have to say by the comments below. As always, if you didn't know, now you do. See you in the next video.